Hey guys, Weapon Gaming back with another video for our Blueprint Weapon Series, and today we're going to be covering the Shadow Sight Blueprint for the Grav 556, which is unlocked through the Battle Pass. So I'll go ahead and show you how to unlock this. We'll just go over the attachments, then I'll show you some live gameplay in a multiplayer game. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here is the final blueprint, cosmetic changes with this weapon, how it looks overall with the attachments. So let's back out really quick. We'll go to the Battle Pass and show you how to unlock this. So the Battle Pass, uh, free to buy in, free for everybody as long as you bought into the Battle Pass. Now, this is unlocked at tier 85. So, again, this is a blueprint for the Growl 556. And, again, you can see it here, unlocked at tier 85 for the weapon. And there's no really major cosmetic changes to this, but, again, it is a nice little short variant of the Assault Rifle. So, let's go back and look at our class for this. Now, overall, this turns it into, we did a conversion for the Feme Mini SAF, which is essentially what this gun is, just minus the fact that we don't have 9mm ammo attachments for this gun yet, but then maybe something that could be added in the future but let's go over the attachments that are on this particular blueprint so first off it comes with the compensator this is going to assist with recoil control the cons being ads speed and aiming stability next up it has the shortest barrel attachment for this weapon which comes in at 5.3 inch in real life the ifa may mini saf comes in at four and a half inches this is 5.3 so for this barrel this is going to assist with your ads speed your movement speed and your recoil control the con here being the damage at range as well as bullet velocity but again I'm going to go over, you'll see in the gameplay, that's really not a factor. Plus, the added bonus with this particular barrel attachment is that you do get the built-in uh, foregrip on this weapon for the underbarrel attachment. So you'll see here, if I back out, that the underbarrel is negated because we do have the automatic one that's added on with this particular barrel attachment. Next up, we have a 5 milliwatt laser. This is going to assist you with your hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. Cons being that the laser is visible when you're walking if you're sprinting or adsing it will not be visible you'll see how i use that in the gameplay now the sight on this is the gi mini reflex so it's a very clear red dot sight standard red dot sight uh precision sight picture again since we're adding a little bit extra weight to the weapon it's gonna it's gonna slow down your ads speed and then we're gonna make up for that overall here again with in addition to the barrel that we selected with the stock option so the stock is going to be no stock this is going to assist with the movement speed and the aiming down sight speed. Now the cons being aiming stability and recoil control. And so those are all the attachments. Obviously, as I said, you get the built-in underbarrel attachment with that ZLR Drifter A08 barrel attachment that you get on this weapon. So overall, this is the final design to the weapon. Now really quick, how does this change the weapon if we were to uh, do different attachments? So if I just deselect that, you'll see it just adds on the standard barrels. You can see how this looks. So the standard barrel attachment is not going to retain that. Uh, it's going to retain black. So as you see here with the short barrel, it is black also. So it's really not a cosmetic change to the weapon. Same with the stock options. Again, it's just going to add the basic stocks back on to the gun itself. And same with the muzzle attachment. You can see how something like a lightweight suppressor will look on this weapon. So no really major cosmetic changes to this gun versus the base. There's some... Minor changes to the the pistol grip and obviously just the camouflage that we see here. This is an XRK variant of the Growl 556, but overall, that's really it. We see, again, that this is ambidextrous, fully ambidextrous fire controls and select fires. And then we have the a bronze or a goldish type tint to the, uh, the charging handle as well as the ejection port for the rounds as well there, as you can see. So camouflage really quick i know some of you guys like to see this just how this looks with different camos so it's going to cover the whole entire weapon including the foregrip the built-in foregrip with this gun so the only thing that's not going to be affected by this is going to be the compensator we see here on the barrel itself so you can just see how that looks so that is the growl 556 blueprint for the shadow sight now jumping into the gameplay here i'm going to just leave you guys with this again this is the conversion essentially we did this in the conversion series which i'll link the video down below if you want more information it's essentially the Chilean submachine gun, the mini version of the Feme Mini SAF, which is a has a 4.5 inch barrel on it. Now that particular gun is a nine millimeter uh, weapon. This is, it fires nine millimeter Parabellum, and obviously this is a 5.56 weapon. So we don't have the conversion for the nine millimeter yet. So unfortunately, we don't have that. Hopefully, it will be added. I know for the Ram 7, there are 9mm Parabellum rounds in the gunfight mode that pop up once in a while, and that has not been added to multiplayer yet as well. And we did see the new additions for the attachments added to the Uzi back in the beginning of Season 2. So that may be something that's be coming to some of these guns in the future. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon and the blueprint. I think overall, you'll see here in the gameplay, 
Uh, we're playing Kill Confirm on Hack in the Yard, and it does handle really well. And I'm also really surprised how it handles at medium to even longer engagements that I'm having here. Obviously, the map itself isn't huge, but medium range engagements that you typically would be engaging with a full size assault rifle, I'm able to engage and kill with this weapon. Obviously, that it is a very short barreled weapon. It's an SBR, and we don't have a buttstock on the weapon. We're able to run a gun pretty fast, and that 5 milliwatt laser does come in very handy for hip fire accuracy. I noticed myself play this a couple games and I noticed just the hip fire itself is very reliable with this weapon especially with that five milliwatt laser and obviously your ADS speed is almost maximized with the attachments that we have on this gun so again really in real life this is more so resembling the Fame Mini SAF the Chilean submachine gun which is a four and a half inch barrel comes with a 30 round or a 20 round box mag and nine millimeter Parabellum. So I'll go ahead and link the video for the conversion for that down below. Also be sure to let me know what kind of conversions you want to see upcoming, attachments we want to see added to season two and beyond, additional blueprints hopefully in the shop. And then I know we are slowly approaching season three here upcoming soon as well. So I'll be doing a giveaway on the channel for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with the gameplay. We almost get a chopper at the end here. Had a bit of a rough rocky start, not too bad, but just not really consistent. And then we got a uh, VTOL at the very end. If I had a couple more seconds, we would have easily had a chopper gunner. But again, you'll see how versatile this weapon is. Uh, you're able to run a gun very fast. Hip fire is very, very good. And you're even your medium to longer range engagements. For some reason, it handles really well at those distances as well. I'm able to drive guys fairly quickly. So go ahead and let me know what you think down below. Again, this is the Shadow Sight Blueprint for the Growl 556. Till next time, Buffer Gaming. Out. Enemy is the office. Friendly double here on Kill confirmed. Friendly UAV online.
on approach, ready for... Stay focused. Enemy down. Kill confirmed. Reloading. Yeah. 